Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3. And in this battle, I will be playing the Pumpkin Madness Tournament. Okay, so let's start off scouting, of course. I just, I recently just maxed out my Rifleman's scouting range. So that will benefit me a lot in this battle as I take the containers. And I was wondering, why did I take this container? Was my enemy not playing? Or was he... Like, what was the deal? Uh, so I was curious. And then I see his assaults coming out onto the field, which is which is what I expected. But I, I don't know why he didn't do it sooner. Okay, so we're going after the pumpkins, of course. Okay, our first pumpkin was a good one. Uh, it gave me the bonus crates that you open after the battle. Not really the best crate to open during the battle to help you in, but still pretty good, pretty decent. Okay, so I'm producing armadillos, and I decide to upgrade uh, and make two assault vehicle factories producing armadillos at the same time. Uh, of course, my riflemen aren't even that good, so I lost that pumpkin, definitely. Uh, and so, I lost map control pretty fast. Oh, it was a mistake. I should have made a few coyotes, like one or two. But I know my coyotes aren't that strong. And his fortresses seemed pretty strong to me, so I didn't bother. Okay, so that pumpkin probably gave him side of range, because I don't see anything else that it gave him here. Okay. So I decide to go for the pumpkin. I don't bother maneuvering my armadillos around the fortresses because otherwise he would have captured the pumpkin and if he captured the pumpkin uh, and enemy allied units popped up then it could be a big problem uh, so I decide to go straight for the pumpkin okay so this sight range pumpkin just showed me that he's going mass fortresses and it's working out really good for him he just got a couple of Heavy assaults and some containers. So it's doing pretty good for him. And so I decide to go for some more containers uh, while producing armadillos. I decided to keep a constant stream of armadillos uh, just in case he decides to attack me with fortresses. And so we go on with the battle, and that was a perfect. That allied reinforcement was really perfect because it saved my four riflemen uh, from that attack, and it allowed me to get that pumpkin. Okay, so we see eight fortresses down south, preventing me from getting those two containers. A pretty bold move, uh, so I decide to get ready and pump out more armadillos. Okay, so my ally is going down south uh, on the patrol. Uh, I decide to keep map control by moving all of my units to the center, and my ally sees, uh, my ally is attacking uh, my opponent, and just look at the, uh, look at the that uh, the damage those fortresses did. It completely annihilated uh, my ally. Okay, so we go for a counterattack with my armadillos uh, for two reasons: to see what he's doing, and uh, just as like a counterattack to. Uh, to surprise him, like, uh, take his mind off of map control for a little bit, so I can get some more pumpkins. Uh, we saw that he's going, uh, Vertex, so I go after his Avia Factory, and I decide to go after his, his, uh, HQ, but, wow, these, for uh, these fortresses are really strong. And so, I, I failed at, uh, taking down his HQ. Now, I didn't want to maneuver my armadillos then, because the armadillos were coming from the, the east of the map, and I needed to take down his HQ, but it clearly wasn't working. So falling back uh, would just result in the fortresses chasing after my vehicles, and then eventually he'd fall back, but his HQ would still be there. So I decided to sacrifice it and buy him some time so I could get some more pumpkins. Okay, so we send our armadillos out, of course, getting those pumpkins. 
We're leading the pumpkin race by four pumpkins. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty decent. And so my opponent tries to regain map control, and I see that he has Zeus. Uh, pretty normal, but Zeus isn't advisable in this tournament. Uh, Zeus is really slow and uh, tanks a lot, but it's not that worth it because of its super slow speed. Okay, so we go on another counter-attack run, uh, and he keeps, he's very, he's persevering and constantly going for Vertex. So instead, I, uh, instead of going for his AVA factory and attempting to destroy his HQ, I go for both of his a airfields and air AVA factories, uh, knowing that without both, he'll have a, a little bit harder time to get Vertex on. Uh, and that time is enough for me to get some hawks out. Okay, so now I'm leading the pumpkin race by 7, and that's good. Uh, we can see he's building rocket towers uh, uh, as I attack with my hawk. And he still goes for vertex for some reason. Okay, so we see he's moving his army down south, uh, so I become aware of that. And I decide to attack his Avia factory just to be annoying. And my ally catches uh, my opponent's army. And that Zeus is pretty strong. Uh, it's the Zeus itself is wrecking a bunch of armadillos. So that's that's pretty strong. And as you can see, look at this. Two hawks. It takes four runs of two hawks just to destroy one Zeus. So therefore it takes eight hawks to one shot a Zeus. Like that's that's unbelievable. Zeus is so tanky and so strong that it just tanks the hawk's firepower. So th that's pretty alarming. Because uh, usually it only takes like five, five or six vertex to one shot a jaguar. So yeah. Okay, we we go uh, HQ level four or five. Yeah, I think we're going HQ level five. Okay, so. Uh, I know I can't win this battle, so I retreat my armadillos and send my hawks in uh, as aviation support. Uh, and we're almost about to win the battle, so yeah, that's that's pretty good. Three more pumpkins. There's two currently on the field. Uh, and I have a pretty good standing army. I have a good chance. Okay, two more pumpkins. Just have to defend. One more pumpkin, and the pumpkin is in the center of the map. Okay. Once this pumpkin is out, it's good game. And so we won by having good map control.